All right, so we had played a black white tokens variation that was so terrible. I actually didn't bother uploading it to YouTube. Kaya does not seem like a playable Magic the Gathering card. That being said, there's a reasonable shell here. Hopefully, I think there's a lot of good cards that we get to play. So Soren is a card that's impressed me, especially in Historic. Still looking for a good deck with it in Standard. Maybe this is it. And Edgar Charmgroom is a card that's looked impressive uh, on open coverage. We saw a few different decks playing it. So it gives other vampires 1-1. One, one, so it works nicely with uh, the Mirthless. And then when it dies, it transforms into this coffin that makes vampire tokens. That then when you have enough vampire tokens, blood light counters on it, it flips over trans transformed. So this is really neat because it's a legendary card that works with itself. So when you play the second Edgar... The legendary rule will cause one of them to die and flip into the coffin. And every time the coffin flips over, you know, it turns into Edgar, then one dies and you just keep making tokens. So legends that work well with themselves tend to be excellent. Um, we've got some Meat Hook Massacres that can be both offensive and defensive. Really one of the nice things about this card is it's a sweeper effect that's like obviously great in the creature matchups, but in the control matchups, it just helps all of our token creatures drain those control players out. We're hedging aggro game one with Eaten Alive, Power Word Kills, and Vanishing Verses in the main deck. And then out of the sideboard, we've got actually 10 discard spells. We've got four Concealing Curtains, four Duress, and two Go Blank. So leaning into beating aggro game one and then hoping to board into discard spells to have a chance against uh, Epiphany in the postboard. Jed Check, thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back. Captain, my captain, thank you for the over four years. What's going on, Juan? Uh, so when you resub, in order for the notification to pop up, it doesn't look like you sent it through yet. So sometimes, sometimes you have to refresh your browser page or restart your mobile app if you're on mobile. It'll, it'll pop a, give you an option to send a message when you pop it on through, like Jed Chick said, good morning. And thanks for the resub. I think a Kaya command is a great suggestion. For those of you watching on YouTube at home and didn't just see me type, the Kaya command says, is bad, yes, what of her? I didn't, but it's not, it's not loading. Holiday cooking stream, quite possibly. I don't, I don't think we're gonna do it around Thanksgiving. Um, I think we're having like a Friendsgiving type thing in early January or early December, not January, early December. So we'll pro probably end up doing it for that. Hey, hey nice one. We want the environmental sciences here. Hit the land, nice. I think we're just we're just chilling, right? Maybe maybe we just dispute and sack the eye, the other eye twitch too while they're tapped out. I'm gonna do that actually. I don't want to run into a counter spell here. Yeah, I know having shut up on screen is valuable for the magic segments. I has it up there for a reason.
Rune King does look sweet. Yeah, sorry, Beansy had mentioned Rune King. Um, uh, Riot, Riot Game, shout out to Riot. They're great to work with. Uh, actually sent me copies of Hextech and Rune King. So we're, we're probably a few weeks off of finishing Mass Effect, but I am I am planning to play uh, I am planning to play Rune King as our next afternoon variety game is my my current plan. Let's get Edgar going. Uh, Hextech Mayhem is a side-scrolling platformer. If you look up on Steam, there's a good, like, two-minute trailer of it. Riot, Riot has people making decisions that uh, understand how the industry works. Bots. Even if even if I decided Rune Terra is not for me, they understand. It's good to have good partnerships with people that play games when you make games. <laughs> Weird. Weird how that works. So I have eight mana here. We could do both of these no I don't think so blue power word kill's probably dead now power word kill uh they could be playing um Lear and they could be playing um they could be playing Lear and they could be playing the new seven drop so power word kill has value here in a close deck matchup Uh, Riot has, like, a loose requirement of having a certain amount of your stream be their games, but they also make plenty of exceptions to that rule when they... What's the, what's the best way to put it? If another company wanted me to play their game as a sponsored segment, like, I would charge them money to do it, right? So, like, Riot is smart to send games to people on the off chance they might want to play and promote them without them sending them money because they like the game or they like Riot. I agree. Sorian really impressed me in the green black deck in Historic. Unfortunately, cannot word kill the Smoldering Egg here. Pretty unfortunate that we've drawn uh, two Bower word kills and none of our... We have eight pieces of removal in the main deck. Four of these and then four pieces that kill this. Rough beats that we've missed the half of our deck that could interact with this card. No. I bring my own army. Well, we need Watsi would need to take baby steps as in Toth. I don't even need Watsi to sponsor things so much as like they could step it up by they could step it up and start by like not ghosting me when they're talking to me and decide they don't want to work with me on something. I'd settle. I'd set. I'd settle for just communication. <laughs> Tragedy befalls us all. Oh, that's a good shout. We could have killed this to kill this. I've missed that now, but that's a good that's a good shout out. We were talking and bullshitting at the same time. That's a good catch. That that miss is probably gonna lose me the game, I imagine. A 
Unchecked Ash Mouth's a hell of a drug. That was a good, good catch from chat on the killing gas to kill the Ashmouth. I mean, Smoldering Egg, I, I really hate when people compare Smoldering Egg to Gutter Snipe because, like, Smoldering Egg is playable and Gutter Snipe is not. It's it's much more comparable to, like, Thing in the Ice, right? And that it's a powerful cast, cast lots of spells in a turn payoff. Alright, so how many discard spells do we want? All of them, question mark. And then what do we, what do we want to cut here? Shambling Gas probably isn't good enough. We're bringing in concealing, concealing curtains. We're bringing in extra creatures, anyways. Probably don't need eaten alive and verse. And I'm bringing in some discard spells too. That's a keep. Watch them play their blue land on one. Might chill on this for now because we could draw a way to sacrifice it. I don't really want to spend my mana just to let them spike field hazard. And then they play this and we get to Vanishing Verse and spend our mana anyways. Live in. We draw an untapped land? Alright. Tapped land is the second best outcome there, right? I really, 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 really hope that Shadows over Innistrad Remastered is coming December, January. Crossing, crossing my fingers. All right, we need to, we need to land drop, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw here. More mana planeswalker plus one draw a card. In. In it to win it. And now we need to draw cards to take this off the table. I just want to lose games with guys to save trash. I think I want to be all in on drawing to an answer for their egg. May or may not be right. Good chance this thing flips over this turn. Okay. Good beats. My ways are not for the A gift in exchange for loyalty.
Okay. Is your hand just like a bunch of time walks? Uh, Snapcaster Mage isn't in. Oh, wow. So these triggers go active player, non-active player. So if I put my two spiders in front of these, the Lulth will get triggers before they can kill her. Well, no, active player triggers go on the stack first, right? So my Lulth will get counters for my spiders dying before uh, they can shoot her. I think, I think we just trade these off. Hey, little Leon, thanks for the follow. Good morning. I do. Uh. <laughs> Can I help? Nothing on any surprise. <laughs> Punted chat. Punted. Should have done the other direction, obviously. Who? I should have more than four pieces of removal for Ashmouth post board. Traitors, all of you. How dare you disrespect me? Hey, Fear Devil, thanks for the entire year of support. Welcome back. I appreciate you it. Deal with this annoyance. Well, to be fair, we did have one answer, right? Like they they killed it earlier. You could have such pond eye, the general. Think I think at this point. We are fight for me now. just setting up to kill them. I'm just hoping to fade a turn spell for another turn. And to be fair, like they haven't had a turn spell on like infinite cards, so. A pity our time is over. Bottoms up, you like to see it. Yeah, I think, I think Concealing Curtain's a playable card. What does this attack mean? Does it have like a removal spell? Oh, this deck doesn't have a removal spell in its sideboard. That's sad. Uh. I 
guess we could just start attacking, huh? Yeah, it's probably the play. <laughs> All right, sure. Why not? You can deal with my servant. I'm the beast. Brace, brace for third hold, Breacher. All right, just attacking got the job done. Do I want some eaten alive's in my deck? Feel like we were pretty fortunate to sneak that one out. I'll put in a fifth answer. Hey, Vang, thank you for the 35 months and thank you for the very generous tier two. Welcome back. I get you on that. Is Haley being back in, back in daycare has brought many a cold into the household already. Although, and this may or may not surprise you, Believe it or not, even with the boys being back to school, the fact that everybody's wearing masks means sickness has been pretty minimal on their on their front compared to other school years, which is nice. And Urs, thanks for the follow. What do I take here? I think it's Behold. I think I'm gonna take Behold. I guess, do I wanna get Mind Rotted? I don't really wanna get Mind Rotted. Cost My is too great, Jeff. Not for the weak. Uh, colorless permanents do not have a color. They are colorless. Your blood will be mine. Your blood will be mine. to know my secrets very well very well so do we curtains plus edgar or do we lolf i think we lolf darkness will s i will In this round, but I'll be waiting. 
Yeah, using concealing eye to take the leer is kind of appealing. Blood for knowledge. A fair trade. Well, their hand is about to be very different, Chip. Well, at least they got punished for not doing that proactively. I bring my own army. We start attacking at this point. Got to get through these at some point. Uh, yeah, I guess I want to spend two cards killing Edgar. That's fine with us. We have two more in hand. It's a little bit less exciting. down here for sure. Okay. Okay. We're cooking with gas. That was probably the best draw on our deck, huh? And then uh, we get to start firing up these hives and close the game out quick-ish. You fight for me. Yep, this card is very strong. Yeah, I'm supposed to attack with the other hive instead of holding up Vanishing Verse. I don't know if they have Hull Breacher. I just get kind of sad if my Edgar walks into it.
Cletus is gaining them a bunch of life here too. Hey, thanks for the 31 months, Cody. Welcome back. I bring my own. Consider and Spike Field Hazard. Want to prioritize getting rid of spells that Lear might want to recast if they draw one. So this kills both my vampires. He's been quite the slug. Speaking of slugs, the slug shall continue. is necessary to set things right. Nothing on Innistra is free. Which time is left? They have 15 minutes. We actually both have 15 minutes. It's been a legitimately long game. If I do this, I can only animate one of my hives. I think that's right though. We start here. <coughs> Did not find another vanishing verse. <coughs> Could honestly have been right to just fire up the other hive just to push damage here. I see so many cards with this consider. There's only 15 cards left in their deck. Oh, man. That's so brutal. We are grinding. Grinding for a while here, Chip, but... It's just so impossible to outgrind Expressive Iteration. only non-land permanence, right? Can we steal this with the hives? I, I probably should have I probably should have attacked them with two hive of the eye tyrants last Your turn. Will be mine. They attack, they lose. Here's you hoping. Deal with my servant. I'm, busy. I'm gonna draw here because I want a discard spell. On a duress. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve mana. It takes five to attack with these. So I can draw this. And I can deadly dispute my token. And then I can still duress and activate my Hive of the Eye Tyrants. Great. Gotta YOLO it. 
If they have cards here that stop them from dying, but... Yeah, I was counting the treasures as mana to cast us. Close game, and like I said, there's a good chance I messed up and should have just been more aggressive here. Oh, dress wouldn't work because of Leer. Yeah, that's a good call. We're not there yet, Chet. All right, sometimes lucky. Opponent, opponent messed up there a little bit too. Perhaps forgetting about Menace on my creature lands. But I, I also should have been, been more aggressive to start there. Let's speak him. And so, I know I sound like a broken record with, I know I sound like a broken record talking about Epiphany at this point, but that game, that match was such a fantastic example of the great games of magic that having Epiphany in the format just fucking stains out, right? Like, the only reason that match was good and interesting was because our opponent wasn't playing a combo kill in Epiphany. They were playing Leers and Hull Breachers and Spoldering Eggs as threats instead of this, I'm going to take all the turns and you're going to die. Our, our card advantage and our grind actually mattered. We had long, meaningful games with lots of decisions that ended up ended up playing out in different ways. And there's there's a small chance that the non-epiphany builds of blue red end up being more powerful, and I hope that that's the case. I would love it if the format just naturally adjusts. But if the format doesn't naturally adjust, like epiphany is just such a huge net negative. Yeah, yeah, I think I think there's a there's a non-zero chance that happens, but it's far from a guarantee. Is Twitchy. Yo, me potato salad. No, no ranger salad here, chip. Yeah, hull breacher. Can die to removal under right, the right circumstances, and pass just dying to removal. It's also exposed to discard spells, which both both allow meaningful avenues of interaction. Oh, I forgot to put the removal list in the sideboard. Yeah, good shout. Making making a note of that, so remember to do it before the next match. It's a reminder. Oh, BT Dubs, uh, I saw a video come across my timeline. Apparently there's mudslides happening around Vancouver. And one of them like completely washed out a piece of a major expressway there. Stay, stay safe if you live in that area. Can you explain the Streamlabs OBS dues for non-streamers? Well, like, 
I guess the core of the news is uh, the um, link for the NordVPN Kowalski um, adds four extra months to your subscription to their two-year plan. So if you signed up for their two-year plan using the link, you actually get 28 months. I think we're just blocking like this. I might jump here too. I think we want to take this one out. No, thank you for checking out the sponsor. Sorry, uh, Streamlabs OBS versus... It's actually kind of hard. Do you understand what open source software is? Is the first question I have to ask you if you want me to explain what's going on with Streamlabs OBS. Okay, you understand. So, um, Streamlabs... Sh the company Streamlabs makes alerts and other tools around streaming and they forked the open source streaming software OBS, which is essentially the industry industry standard for streaming at this point. And after forking it, they asked OBS if they would be okay with them having OBS in their fork's name. And OBS was like, no, we'd really prefer if you'd rebrand your fork to something not related to us. And Streamlabs was like, nah, we're just gonna call our thing Streamlabs OBS. Which has caused a lot of confusion among among non-technically inclined people that don't understand open source software because people frequently show up to OBS support channels looking for support from Streamlabs OBS. And the key difference there is apparently Streamlabs OBS is a heavily monetized product. So people come into the OBS support channels, they're like, oh, I paid for this thing can you help me with it? They're like, well, no, that's actually not our thing. Even though one's called Streamlabs OBS and the other one is just called OBS. And it's, it's shitty because what they've done is technically not illegal. They've technically followed, I believe uh, OBS is released under uh, GPL. So they've not broken GPL, but they've definitely violated the spirit in which the license is generally used. Yeah, it actually surprised me how many people, and I don't expect, like, it doesn't surprise me that non-streamers don't understand the difference, but it surprised me how many people who are, like, in the streaming industry didn't seem to understand the difference between Streamlabs and OBS. Which, I guess that was the whole point, was their goal was to be confusing. Thanks for the 33 months, Ferret. But like at the at the core, Streamlabs um, provides al overlay alerts. Is what they what they do. So like the notifications and the thing around my box, for example. In fact, when uh, S tier redid all my notifications, I had explicitly requested that they move me to a different platform because I had previously been using Streamlabs. But since we have these new alerts, I have changed to using stream elements. The mid 2000s, yeah, I mean, I've been streaming on Twitch for you know, close to nine years at this point, and OBS is what I've always used. Yeah, so 
Apparently, the thing with OBS and Streamlabs has been like, like OBS hasn't aired that out as dirty laundry before because they were just like trying to settle it in private. They really shouldn't have. They should have blasted them a while ago. But besides that point, um, the reason why OBS finally posted, the project manager there posted about this, was because Streamlabs blatantly ripped a feature off of someone else. They, they brought it up because Streamlabs copy and pasted somebody else's homework now. And OBS was like, yeah, we've been dealing with this shit for a while. Really smart on the opponent's part. Not crewing this and not playing into my removal spell last turn. Good sequencing there from them. A little spooky chat. Don't watch streamers that complain their opponent is ghosting every time they make a good play. It's just a good play for my opponent to attack with these when I, I pass holding a removal spell up. Like, I was very clearly representing a removal spell. Yeah, Street Streamlabs OBS is just OBS with extra shit on top of it. In fact, I personally frequently describe, would even before all of this, I would describe Streamlabs OBS as OBS with training wheels. I gen generally told people that if you cared about system resources being used, you should just use OBS because you don't need half the shit Streamlabs jammed into the program. They send everything at me. I can't kill the chariot, which sucks. Oh yeah, they did miss lethal, didn't they? Yeah, if they would have pumped the pack leader, they could have attacked with another 2-2 here. It's a good shout. All right, we need Meat Hook plus a land chip. Uh, a lot of the paid stuff Slobs has inside of it barcode is like licensed art type stuff. Chat, they could have made it five attack with its activated ability and then used this to crew this. And then they would have had another token to attack with. The, the play our opponent missed there for lethal. Thanks for the follow, Fresta Bomb. And B BT dubs for people that are new, or even people that are, are been here a while. I don't really talk about my background outside of uh, math and magic stuff too often. Before I was a full-time meme here on Twitch, I spent... Uh, the last decade uh, contributing to and using various open source projects during during undergrad and many of the years after I actually helped uh, maintain and create an Ubuntu Linux fork in addition to contributing to a few other different projects. So I have a good amount of experience in and around the open source uh, open source world. Which was actually part of the reason why it was so surprising to me that a lot of people didn't understand the difference between slobs and OBS. It's just like easy to forget when you're really in that world that like, oh, most people don't pay attention to these differences. Just like not relevant. You know, Archivist, it actually surprises me how many people contribute to open source software that could end up being right leaning in the United States? Because yeah, open source software is like, it's basically socialism in a lot of ways. It's way closer to socialism than half the shit that most people on the right in the United States call socialism. What are we cutting here? 
Edgar seems a little slow, although the chump blockers seem nice. I definitely want these vanishing verses. I mean, this isn't very good. A 1-4 is not a great stat line. For the, the non-tech inclined in chat, what open source software means is there's repositories online where you can go and look at how the software is written. And depending on the licensing of it, you can edit it and redistribute it yourself with the edits that you've made to it. From a security standpoint, it is good for software to be open sourced. It allows more eyes to be able to track down issues and contribute fixes to things. Yeah, Android. For for common references, uh, Firefox is open source. Google Chrome is based on Chromium, which is open source. Um, Android is largely open source. Most of most of the code that runs the web servers is open source. Google Chrome isn't open source though. Google Chrome is built on top of Chromium with extra closed source bits added in. It is based on an open source project. It's very, it's very, very close yet. So we get to target you, sacrifice you, kill you. The new version of Edge is based off of Chrome. I actually didn't know that. It's good to know. Yeah, I actually used uh, Linux as my daily driver for close to a decade. There's websites that tell you not to use Chrome. Kind of ass backwards websites are you going to? It's 2021 chat. Chrome, Chromium's the industry standard. Bing.com. <laughs> well, someone just said, someone just said that uh, that's based on Chrome, uh, Edge is based on Chrome now too. I mean, no piece of software is perfect, but Chrome is, Un, like, deterministically the industry standard. But I changed my daily driver windows because different pieces of hardware I needed for streaming don't work under Linux. It's also harder to consistently do sponsored streams under, under Linux because a lot of games don't support, don't support it. Uh, I, I actually... This past weekend, I have two. I have two hard drives. Um, I have two hard drives in my computer. I actually set a Linux install back up, and I got everything I needed for streaming working under the Linux setup, except for Untapped. And Untapped really isn't optional for streaming Magic Arena, unfortunately. And they have they have no interest in exporting me a Linux binary, which is big sedge. So you want to kill this in response to them curing it if possible, so that way they can't Rangers class it. Uh, I just set up the latest Kubuntu LTS. I like KDE. Here's a nice little bit of grind here. Now, I basically only ever use anything Ubuntu or Debian based. Apt is the package manager I'm familiar with. Uh, 
I spent a weekend during undergrad trying to install Arc Linux one time and then never again. <laughs> never again. Wow, sick neat. Level this with one mana left, have pack leader on top. Yeah, so running the Linux subsystem inside of Windows doesn't really do anything for me because the 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 main thing I want from Linux is the window manager. Once you've once you've experienced a Lin any like any of the mainstream Linux window managers using Windows is so shitty. Like, how is it 2021 and the Windows file manager doesn't have tabs in it? Just to like give an example of a very crude basic feature that like, and yeah, there's some awkward third party hacks for it, but none of them work perfectly. I've, I've tried a few of them. None of them work anywhere near as well as just one of the 30 different file managers with tabs Linux says. To give, you, to give you another good example of like simple customization features Windows lacks that I really, I really wish we had. Um, you can't auto hide the taskbar on just one monitor on Windows. Like I would really like it if I could auto hide the taskbar on just my streaming monitor that like I screen share with, but that that's not a feature that's supported. I think we're dead fam. The Stranger Clash is gonna like bury us in the ground, right? Consider yourself fortunate. You Sorin grinds a little bit, but you can't move the taskbar from the bottom in Windows 11. Well, that doesn't surprise me because in Windows 10, you would not believe the number of applications that behave poorly when you put the taskbar at the top of the screen. Like the number of applications in Windows that like when your taskbar is at the top and you maximize them and then the title bar for the window goes up behind the taskbar because it's not used to having it on the top is just like ridiculous. That's fine though. My my computer can't run Windows Windows 11 anyways. So we're we're gonna, we're going to hang out on this one. Yeah, that's my mine too, barcode. I have all, I have all high-end hardware in my computer and it can't it can't install Windows 11 cuz it lacks TPM. It's not that it has compatibility issues, and that is that it needs one very specific type of compatibility. All right, I think we do this and just clear things out here. I guess these are gonna trade. Am I okay with that? Probably not. Probably just do this. What is TPM? It's some arbitrary security thing that's like not actually needed. Oh shoot, these are gonna trade anyways, right? I believe snakes can veil. So, Toast Masher. It, they, my motherboard actually supports TPM, but it only supports TPM 1.2 and you need 2.0 for Windows 11. So, like, I, all my shit was pretty bleeding edge when I bought it. It 
It has, it has the module. It just doesn't support the latest version of the module. The pack leader has hexproof chat. Windows 11 requires a webcam for your laptop. That, that's not creepy at all. Chat, you gotta, you gotta turn your webcams off, chat. But maybe that, maybe that piece of masking tape people put over their webcams is actually a good idea. I, I remember when I worked at major insurance company, the number of people that I would see walk around with that had tape over the webcam on their work laptop was super high. Just like worried the uh Worried the company was gonna turn their webcam on. All right, we've played a total of two matches in an hour and two minutes, and we are right back where we started on the ladder. Webcam should have a shutter you can slide over the enemies. Why, you paranoid people? You have the cameras on your cell phones taped over too. They've got one on the front and the back. Man, our our removal spells have just felt hella awkward today. Like vanishing verse here. We had power word kills earlier. Chat, nobody's watching you at home. Anything relevant that you're doing anyways, you're posting to your Twitter or your Facebook regardless. Like, come on now. They don't, they don't need to track you. You track yourself for them. You fight for me now. I guess we do this, and then we can jump block Florian to give them less card selection. Well, we need a second meat hook real bad. And even even that's not gonna be great. You can deal with my servant. I'm busy. Thanks for the 31 months, Polas. Welcome back. Out of my way. Uh the unranked Q uh tries to you pair you based on the number of rares and mythics in your deck, I believe. 
if I if I recall correctly. But that that's not involved in any ranked queue on arena. It is purely purely the unranked queue. Yeah, it's only for the queue titled play. Wager the because of this card right here. One more Vampires gets to play a lot of cheap removal. They're also a deck that's largely not impacted by Thalia. All right, now if we draw a meat hook, we're in a great spot. You can deal with my. You will serve me well. No, we don't. We deck. We uh. We actually have zero cards in the sideboard here, huh? I don't want discard spells. I don't want vanishing verse. The rest of my, my sideboard is lessons. Yikes. Hey, no jazz. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate you re-up and welcome back. Yeah, I agree. The learn mechanic comes at a real cost in best of three. For sure. Morning, Hydreon. But I rank vampires in standard and encourage you to check out Meta Monday from Monday and you can see where vampires performed at the tournaments over the weekend based on some objective data. It's got some matchup tables there and other good stuff. Go pest summoning into eye twitch here rather than Edgar because this blocks their menace threat better. Lining up real well here so far in this game. This meat hook is looking to be delicious next turn. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby.
Would like to massacre them all. Goodbye, friends. Couple of triggers. Grab our mascot exhibition. Deck for one. Hmm. Valentine uh, makes Edgar much worse. Makes him like gas worse too, actually. This needs to die in order to transform, and this is if it would die, exile it instead. They bolted in their sixth land. Yes, they did. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, st standards, Ben. Been real rough the last couple of days, Bib. Today's been all right. Hey, hey, thanks for the half a year, Mighty. I really appreciate you stopping in to drop that off. Welcome, welcome back. Graveyard. So I'm fairly certain we are going to do a cooking stream, but I'm also pretty sure it's going to be after Thanksgiving. Christy, Christy and I are doing a uh, Friendsgiving, like the second week of December, we think. So I'll probably, probably do it for that. It'll be our big cooking event for the holidays. Take the last card out of my hand. Rude. We have them dead in three, which is nice. Oh, uh, we've not shuffles. That's unfortunate. One. Okay, just being able to sacrifice treasures is always welcome. Did it just tap itself? Oh, it was their only red mana. That's funny. It had to tap itself. They should have activated high for the eye tyrant. Small mistake there on their part.
No, hive, hive costs the same to activate as this. They're both four. Lock it up here. For they consume the weak. Hey. Right. Vampires match up much easier when we draw Meat Hook Massacre. Noted. Might honestly want four Meat Hooks in the 75. Card's pretty good. Solid curve here. One, two, three, four. Curve in right on out the door. Four meat hooks in the 75 is my death metal band name. God bless. I think we want to kill this in case they have a socialite. Yeah, they brought in the go blanks just because we're grindy red. I think, I think bringing in go blanks against anything. Controlling is fine. Are you enraptured by Lolf? Oh yeah, dress me, daddy. Wow, are we rummaging? Stone Cold Nothing! Big, big fan of the Stone Cold Nothing chat. We will catch you. Do we kill their pit fighter here? The treasure's technically an extra cart with Skullport Merchant. Born an Anthrax. You just chill for now. What did I lose life from? Oh, oh, Lolf, Lolf lost me life. Get it, got it, good. Consider yourself fortunate, our most. You can deal with my servant. I'm busy. We sack this and grab our, uh, I will come. grab the exhibition here. And then we've got a clean attack into Soren with these because they're very menacing. Somebody get me a picture of that spider token. It's a menace. To darkness I return. Come.
With great spider tokens comes great responsibility. Exactly. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 13 months, Defender. And like this attack, right? I just get to like jump and now Loth can make more Spooter friends. Spooter friends, Spooter friends, Spoo, 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 Spooter friends, Spooter friends, do do do. Subservience will be rewarded. You wanna be subservient to Loth, chat? Attack with the 4 4. This has first strike, so I don't really have any other good attacks here. Chad, I'm so excited for the new Spider Man movie next month. It's one month from today, right? The 17th? I might actually go to a movie theater. I feel like I really need to go see at least one more decent movie in a movie theater because I can't die having Sonic the Hedgehog be the last movie I saw in theaters chat. It feels, it feels like that would just be wrong. I like, listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna say the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was bad. Oh, this is the wrong deck. But I am going to say that it was Sonic the Hedgehog. It wasn't bad. It was just, yeah. I'm going to cut one duress here, and I'm going to get the extra black lesson in the board. It let's us exile something. Uh, Christy and I watched the first Dune movie in uh, on HBO Max at home. And all I have to say is, after watching the first Dune movie, I'm incredibly disappointed that it's just like, like it, like usually when movies have a sequel, there's like some amount of closing. Like without saying any spoilers, the Dune movie feels like they just stopped filming in the middle of it. Like it's, it's half a movie. Yeah, like there was, there was no, resolution of anything at the end of it. It feels it feels like it should have been like an HBO miniseries or something. Like it should have been like a an eight episode season. Yeah, I get that it's called Dune Part 1, but like you usually like there's like some smaller thing that gets resolved before you end the thing even even if it's a part 1. Strong Fellowship of the Rings. All right. At the risk of alienating my audience, I'm going to ask to confirm that Fellowship of the Rings is one of the Lord of the Rings books, right? I've neither I've neither read nor watched that series. Please unmod me, fixed. Chat, I have two small children. The only books that we read are like Marvel superhero bedtime stories and the, and the library books that they bring home. You haven't watched it before, it's impossible for it to live up to the hype. Yeah, I believe that. I am vengeance, bloody and righteous. Dire times call for dire tactics. Yeah, I didn't chat. I know like I'm deeply ingrained in nerd culture here. But I, I, I didn't do Star Trek or Lord of the Rings or Star Wars growing up. All of those were 
just like it's not into it ne never got into it I guess would be the better description thanks for the thanks for the tier two and over two and a half years in Sir Wit. that's more dork culture than nerd culture that's fair Am I playing around Jawari disruption? I think I am. We're gonna keep going up with Sorin. I think I think we just like no, double one drop start plus start hold deadly three. dispute here. Shambling gas to make a treasure. Abandon my quest. Uh, if, you're, if you're into board games, Fish Lamp Clock, this, this tweet is still super relevant. Board games are great. I assume I assume you're into magic stuff as well. Coalescence apparel shirts are also a great option that lets you support the stream. They have a lot of they have a lot of great designs. Clothing. High quality clothing is a very practical gift. I'm good minions are loyal and deadly. Ask for coal for Christmas, chat. You won't be disappointed. It's a funny that's a funny gimmick I'm gonna have to use further into December. 110% ask for coal for Christmas Cedric if you're watching you should take that and run with it and I the generous one Can you still find VHS players? Shit, can you still get DVD players? If I hadn't happened to get a PlayStation that had a disc reader, I wouldn't even be able to play a, a DVD in my house. I think we just fire up the hive and uh, try and take their uh, their thing out of the graveyard, right? I also just kind of want to be aggressive here. I, for, for the humble brags, my Amazon memories came up yesterday that I've had my PS5 for an entire year now. I am man beard. I have a, I have a man beard too. Thanks for the, thanks for the brand new sub. I appreciate the support.
I wasn't really privileged to get a PS5 at release so much as I was incredibly lucky. Okay, if this isn't a counter spell, we're in a pretty good spot. Nothing more. Uh-uh. I think we loaf and put four power into play here. You require my aren't I generous? Now, if we draw an untapped land, we can fire up both Hive of the Eye Tyrants as well. No, we can already do that, right? Five, eight, plus two. Oh, could I? Did I miss that? Yeah, you're right. I miscounted. No, I had to... I, I guess I could have I could have declined Vanishing Versing their thing. I don't know if that's correct, though. Definitely want Versus post-board. Want the discard spells post-board. Meat Hook comes out. They probably have smoldering eggs post board, so I do want some amount of removal. The question is exactly how much. Shambling Ghast is probably bad. We'll leave two word kills for Vanishing Verse. Hey, thanks for the 20 months, Thorbrin. So, check for traps could be okay. The card that would be my pick for seeing an uptick is, um, what's the land discard spell called? The three, three mana one? I'm drawing, drawing a blank on its name at the moment, but I think, I think that one will probably see more play. Yeah, Predator, Palaka Predation, yeah. I think, I think that one should see an uptick. We got, we're going to be playing a green-black control deck tomorrow for our standard deck to start the day. And that, that's that got... Um, that's got four Palaka Predation in it. I think that's a good direction to move in. Hey, what? I'm glad you gave it a try. Yeah, I, think that, I think that deck's super reasonable. It did not have a decent performance in the open for no reason. Gives us a treasure, which lets us loaf a turn early here. I'm part of an experimental COVID booster shot in a Pfizer clinical trial. They basically copy and pasted all the changes Delta made to its spike proteins into the mRNA vaccine sequences. Yeah, that's awesome, Y Sticks. I, I assume that much like the flu we deal with today is still mutations and iterations of like the 1718 flu that we're gonna be having COVID strains to deal with for, you know, perpetuity. And that that will that will be what we move to doing basically similar to how they chase the flu strains with the flu shot They'll trace COVID strains with the COVID shot 
And then hopefully, ideally, they get it all rolled up into one and you can just go in in the fall and get your COVID flu booster and be on your way. Let's do it all at once. I think we take the burden on the house because it kills my lolth in my eye. I think Hive of the Eye Tyrant is the best AFR creature land. I think they're all playable, but I think the incidental graveyard hate on Hive of the Eye Tyrant gives it a leg up over the others. Will I take another turn? Do da, do da, or will they take all the turns? Oh, the do da day. Do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. I will not cry like a meek little thing. Well, I mean, all things considered. Big Sag that I can't mascot because they're showing Jawari disruption. Fun game, pretty neat. Very interesting, much wow. Hey, sorry, I gotta click off the game screen here because I think my Twitch account gets banned if I show someone masturbating on my stream. So I'll let you I'll let you know when they finish chat and then we'll switch back. for the 10 months queer sightseer welcome back So I'm actually gonna wait to duress on two because uh, I wanna give them an extra chance to draw the card that I want to duress and they're basically not going to have anything I need to take away on the first turn. 
if I get a little bit of extra information by waiting a turn to duress. I'm gonna take the Jawari disruption here. No, that's wrong. I should take it the negate, right? That's fine. We'll flip the concealing curtains and take the negate. They might also just do this. Yeah, this one actually works out just fine. Bacon, thanks for the half year. Your sub notification actually popped up on the other screen. It's in the corner still. I apologize though. I was I was doing a bit and I missed it. It's my fault. It could be right to curtain sack curtains to dispute, honestly. Try and hit land drops here. Untapped land would be nice, so we can courtyard and flip. Do we courtyard flip or do we lull? I think I want to courtyard flip and try and catch a catch a hall breacher before it gets here. I say courtyard, I meant curtains. Sorry, concealing courtyard is the other card that starts with concealing. Okay, and getting that out of the way before we drop Lolf has value, which is nice. My will cannot be denied. Cannot be denied. We going to crush the weak. Sure Poor Lolf. they're gonna flip me the bird and they didn't. It's exciting. It's exciting. Iterating and they're iterating and they're iterating. Yeah, the the fact that we went back to Innistrad and there weren't more Eldrazi processors feels like it was a miss. I really, really wish we would have gotten some Eldrazi processors on Innistrad. Like the Eldrazi were there last time. Would have been, would have been nice. Nah, I'm pretty happy with no Snapcaster Mage. It's a pretty great dispute. Edgar comes back as a new instance of a card, so Divide doesn't work. 
Even if Deadly doesn't happen here, that's fine. They don't get to pay off here and my Edgar comes back. Edgar seems like a great control finisher. You know, it's probably a better control finisher. You fight for me. The vampire token is sweet. Overall, this deck felt pretty lackluster. Um, it didn't feel like we had enough good interaction to consistently keep like mono green basically ran our ass over. And then both the matchups against the blue red decks felt like a struggle. If, if epiphany didn't exist in this format, it feels like this deck could be reasonable into the blue red decks. Like when we played the non epiphany blue red deck, we were able to grind it out with our card advantage. But when the opponent's deck just has the combo kill that doesn't care about our removal spells in lots of epiphanies, and our deck's just not, not good enough. You know, our interaction just lines up too poorly and our card advantage just gets ignored. And I think as long as Epiphany's in the format, this is the kind of mid rangey slash controlling deck that just gets pretty much completely edged out. Hey, thanks for the 19 months, Belligerent Mars. So... Adding more discard spells or whatever, like the problem is their card advantages sit on board or peel off the top very powerfully. Like you could discard spell the blue red deck a bunch and they're just gonna top deck memory deluge or expressive iteration, etc. And then you cut mix that in with a combo kill that's difficult to interact with and you just end up dead most of the time.